up here with this. Shipping bracket. Okay, there's one on the other side as well. Save. You need to save these because you need to use these later. drain hole right here, switch the wire through. Let's see if I can find it from under there. Okay guys, you can see the wires right here, right? So it falls out all along here. Nice little position and I'm just going to zip tie it to the frame of the car and to existing wire looms. There we go. So there's actually a wire loom back up here um, and it's you can feel it actually goes from the bed all the way to the front so it runs along this frame. Just follow that, tie your wire to it.
Okay, so before I put the before I put the actual retract cover on, I think to keep the ram bar on here, it's as simple as going to Lowe's and buying a flat a flatter bolt here because it's see how this is, goes up. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the store and see what I can find. Um, I should be able to find one. That might work. <clears throat> okay, so I went to Lowe's and I bought these metric M8 by 1.25 pitch by 25. Little short, that's all they had. Um, and I, what I did is I kind of made the hole larger using a step bit. Um, kind of flattens it out a little bit. So let's see how this, this works. Much shorter. <clears throat> Hopefully that rests okay. I wish I couldn't find any flat, fl completely flat-headed ones, so I'm doing this. I think this is the best. Really good. So, so by the end, I flattened them, I made holes, and then I used flat head or button head. Uh, M8 by 1.25 pitch screws uh, to replace the original ones just to get a little bit more of a flatter um, fitment. So let's see if this works. It may not. Let's find out. Right, so tip, if you have these, the, I don't know what you call them, um, with the ramp, you have the little tie down, adjustable tie down parts, you need to make sure that you slide these all the way to the front first before you add the track. I'll have to pull it back out. Ugh. I guess I can lift, let me see here. Can I do? So now I should be able to lift this thing over it.
one eighth. So you gotta use these spacer brackets that came in the shipping box to make it one eighth of an inch away from the tailgate. And now we can go ahead and clamp down. This part's kind of confusing, guys. Um, you gotta push down and pull up. Push down on the back and pull up to prevent water intrusion. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. You can see I have the, the ram bar, right? And there you can see that how I flatten, use a flatter head for the, the screws that attach the ram bar to the bed of the truck. Um, it helps out a little bit. I think it's definitely necessary. You definitely need to change the screws out for the ram bar. I mean, there's no questions asked. If you have too high of a lip, it's not gonna fit on properly. You're probably not gonna get a good seal for water. See that side? Sorry if the camera's shaky, you can see this side as well. Let's see if I can turn my flashlight on here. I hope you can see that better. I might have to get a shot in the daytime, but you can see how the flat head works better. There's a little bit of foam, like a, I think it's about maybe one eighth of an inch of foam that, that, uh, that seals, so you can see that foam there. See, if the ram bar wasn't there, that'd be flush. There might, I might get some water leakage there, but honestly, if you don't change out those um, screw hex heads that attaches for the OEM ram bar, the OEM screws, I don't think it's gonna work. I think you're gonna get a lot of water leakage. But here, I might, have to, I might have to get some foam and reinforce that. You can see a tiny hole there. So water probably will get in there. This part looks totally fine. If I can get the camera to focus. So there's some adjustments you definitely have to make if you wanna use the power track with the OEM uh, Mopar uh, Ram Bar, but it does work. Um, yeah, I'll try to get some daytime shots and show you guys, but overall, I think it looks really clean. Sorry, this truck is so tall and I'm so short, so um, there we go. This is what it looks like. Super, super clean. Beautiful.